Welcome sa Sip9 that ko. This video tutuloy natin ating series on calculus at yung pinag-uusapan natin dito sa mga videos natin ay about properties of limits, no? Sa previous two videos, pinag-uusapan natin yung uh, limit of a constant, no? And uh, yung sa pangalawa is limit of the identity function, no? So dito ay uh, pag-uusapan natin yung uh, the limit of the sum and difference of functions, no? So, dito lang naman sinasabi niya, pag may dalawa tayong function at yung function na yun may limit, no? So, the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to l. At meron tayong uh, pangalawang function, the limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal to m. Then, uh, if we add the limits, pwede nating uh, i-add yung result, no? Yung limit mismo nila, no? So, just... Uh, Maybe we'll just have two examples. One for plus, tsaka one for minus. Kasi dalawa lang. Uh, pareho lang naman yung ano niya, no? yung ibig sabihin. So for example, we have f of x equals x. No? Uh, kasi napag-alala na natin yung limit of a constant. Naalala nyo. No? And of course, we have g of x. Limit of, sorry, li limit of identity function and limit of a constant. Yung g of x natin is constant. For example, 8. No? And... Um, uh, we, we, cho we choose A as, uh, for example, uh, 3. So, the limit of f of x as x approaches uh, 3 plus the limit of g of x as x approaches 3. No? But we know that the, the, that the f of x is equal to x. So, pwede natin ilagay dito. The limit of x as x approaches 3 plus the limit of our g of x is 8 as x approaches 3. So dito, alam natin na uh, naalala nyo yung previous videos natin that uh, this is an identity function. Pareho yung x nyo tsaka yung y. So the result, which is the uh, the y, will always be the same no? with the value of x. So that is equal to 3. Ito 3 by the identity function and this one kung ano yung value dito this is constant no naalala niyo yung graph natin pag constant siya ito palagi yan yung result whatever the value here so magiging 8 yan and since l and m ito yung l natin tsaka ito yung m we can add them so pwede nating sabihin 11 yan by this uh, theorem no so ito na yung sagot natin 11 and kung gusto natin mag minus for example if we want to subtract and we choose another number here para hindi naman pareho so for example ang gagawin natin is uh, negative 4 kunwari as x approaches negative 4 so what is the, lim the limit of x as x approaches negative 4 and the limit of uh, 8 as x approaches negative 4. So identity, whatever the number here, yun ay mag limit natin. That's negative 4 plus this is constant, so 8. So by the second uh, sign here, ibig sabihin, pwede tayo mag -min minus. Oh, sorry, this is not plus, but this is minus. This, this is supposed to be subtraction. So, magiging negative 4 minus 8, which is equal to negative 12. So, basically, pag meron kang dalawang limits, pwede mo silang i-add, pwede mo silang i-subtract. Yan lang yung sinasabi nitong law na ito, no? Or yung theorem na yan. Okay, so, I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Uh, just uh, be patient kasi uh, gagamitin natin lahat ng mga uh, laws na yan at saka mga theorems na yan sa pag-solve ng limits, no? Gusto ko lang makita nyo kung saan siya galing. Bakit tayo uh, pwedeng uh, gumamit nung mga operations later na gagamitin natin. Okay, so maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.